damn horn. It's too close to the turn signals. Explains why uh, some bikers don't even use the turn signals. Holy fuck. One, two, three balls. What, two isn't enough? <laughs> he could actually stick three balls on there. If he wanted to. That's insane though, holy shit. What line of work is he in? Large diesel truck. Why can't they make uh, all the trailers just use one ball? Oh. Wrong gear. Dealership officially screwed me over on purpose. You can tell. They blame the electrical on me. Well, guess what? They fixed the electrical, or at least they said they did. I went to check the amperage this morning, or the voltage. 11 volts. Yeah, they fixed the, the electrical all right. They fixed it, they fixed it so well that not even 24 hours and the battery is already, uh, you know, near dead. Should be sitting at 12 volts all the time, if not 12.5. Uh, but you know, it's it's my fault though, you know, somehow it's my fault. Even though they, they redid all the wiring. Don't know what happened there. I guess he must have hit the brake too hard. They claimed to have fixed my electrical issue. They claimed it was my fault that I did a piss poor wiring job. They claimed that uh, changing the oil will fix my gearing issue. Okay, these are their claims. They claimed to have fixed everything. Well, except the gearing, which I didn't want to pay for the change in oil because any idiot can do that, so I, I did it. As I was saying, dealership claimed to have fixed the problems. Uh, this little brake uh, fluid thing here. When, I always thought this was empty because I never saw any bubble. I mentioned that in a few of my videos, I think. Um, anyways, I brought it over there. When I got my bike back, this was full. I saw the little air bubble. So they filled it up, which is nice, but they never mentioned it, which means they're covering it up. They never filled it when, I, when they sold the bike. Now, the electrical issues. They claim that uh, my... Uh, I, I, uh, my, my dad wired it in wrong, which my dad has been doing electrical work for many years. You know, he, he knows what he's taught, he, he knows what he's doing. And he fixes cars, he, he did a, a cam job on his Bel Air. I mean, he's been doing all kinds of uh, car, car, uh, car related repairs for all of his life, you know. And, um, so he may not know too much about motorcycles, but I mean, electrical is electrical, you know, hardware is hardware. I mean, I could fix my own bike if I really wanted to. But uh, anyways, my dad did the electrical on the bike and then he claimed it was all wrong, blah, blah, blah. It's shorting out the battery. That's why the battery's draining, all that shit. So what they did is uh, they rerouted the wiring and you'll never guess where they plugged it in. All my accessories, the USB, the this car cigarette lighter, they plugged it in loosely, by the way, into the dash, uh, the dash uh, features and uh, the, the the fuel injection, all that. So guess what happens when I plug the solar panel into the 12 volt plug? Dash lights went on, and the fuel injection kicked on. And who knows what else kicked on? Maybe the headlights. I didn't check to see if the park lights were also on. 
but um, yeah. So I can't. I, it wasn't charging up the battery, of course, because it's it's you know it's uh, powering up my dash lights and all that stuff. So I uh, open up the bike, see what the hell did they do, because obviously that's wrong. Even my da dad said that's wrong. So I opened it up, and uh, they plug. They literally just like squeezed in a bunch of wires into a, uh, an, an existing fuse uh, thing or whatever. They tapped into something else, and it was loose in there. When I go to pull out the fuse boxes or whatever, the wire just fell out. That's their electrical fix. Okay? Clearly that's wrong. I mean, that's, that could cause uh, electrical uh, fire or whatever. Maybe it's 12 volt, maybe it can't cause electrical fire, but clearly that's completely wrong. If that was a 120 volt uh, plug, that would cause, like, that would literally cause an electrical fire. But, uh, you know, a good bump on the road, that would have knocked the wire right out easily. But that's their electrical fix, though. That's what they charged me $160 for. That's exactly what they charged $160 for. Um, but again, they, they, electrical, they claim that my electricals, or my dad's electrical is way worse than uh, what they did. They claim to have fixed it. But, uh, like, I am so pissed off. This is the second time I go there for, uh, because of electrical issues. And this is the second time they screw me over, claiming it's my fault, I'm doing something wrong, blah, 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 all that shit. And they refuse to fix it. I'm not going back there to get it repaired anymore. If they, even if they say, oh, we, we'll, uh, we'll fix it for you, we won't even charge you anything, blah, 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 all that shit. I still won't allow them to touch my bike anymore. They're not touching, they're not going anywhere this, near this bike anymore. They clearly uh, have, the, the only intention they have is to screw me over. I got the feeling I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of night cruising. Just because of my battery issues. Just because the dealers, the dealers are not fixing what they're supposed to fix. And I can't trust uh, my bike. I can't trust bringing it all the way down to Quebec. I can't trust, uh, I'm not even sure if I can trust bringing it all the way to, to, to Sault Ste. Marie. I don't know if I can trust this bike for uh, any kind of uh, riding, except for uh, what I'm doing now, because, uh, you know, my parents are, uh, are around and they can help me out. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> that was cute. You don't see that too often. The girl driving the guy. I'll show you guys uh, where uh, the battery died, where it broke down and all that, and how much I walked. Get you all the details and shit. Although I don't rem remember exactly where the turnoff was. I think it was just before the gravel or something. I'll just have to guess I made on this one. Man, 
man, so many pot smells. Jeez. It's pretty sad when you can smell the pot from the road. Yeah, this was a gravel drive. I knew it had something to do with gravel. <laughs> Where is it? Is it this one? Yes it is. It better be this one. Yes it is. And it is gravel up ahead, I think. Alright, now I gotta remember. I gotta try and remember where uh, it broke down. Is it right here? Couldn't have been, couldn't have been that close. Although it does look familiar. Yeah, maybe it was. Maybe it was right here. I guess I didn't get very far. Yes, it was. I just noticed, uh, I remember that house. Yeah. So I broke down back there. And I walked all this. Tell you where I stopped walking to uh, call my dad, and uh, well, I text messaged him, and he so happened to be uh, awake, so he came down and uh, helped me out. I'm going 60 kilometers an hour here. I'm still going. I, 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 I walked all this. I must have walked for about an hour. And that bike is heavy. There's the horsies. a nice road though it's such a smooth road still walking really holding it down at uh, 62 kilometers an hour. I haven't budged it at all yet. Just goes to show how flat this terrain is. I mean, there was no chance in hell I could get this bike started on my own. Oh, a little bit of downhill here. But uh, still walking. I think I'm getting close though. I just heard a beep. What's with the beep? Oh, camera. So there's the landfill area. This is where I stopped, right here. I stopped right there and I called, uh, I text messaged my dad and asked for help. 